From everything that you have seen, what is your impression of Mo? And do you think he will die alone? <laughs> <laughs> You're like a six out of ten, and I'd still smash you. This is a professional medical oh, examination. Oh, actually, you know what? <laughs> oh, this is a good one. What? Oh, buckle up. Let's see, let's see. I met a girl on a night out. I've only ever met her once. We haven't spoke to each other previously. We haven't met each other previously before this occasion. And for some reason, I thought it would be an absolutely brilliant idea to travel four hours, link up with her, and do a no filter anything goes Q and A with a stranger that I've just met on a night out. Here it is, fantastic Q and A with a strange girl that I've only just met named Queen. Let's get it. All right, people, so we went out last night. Uh, it's now currently half eight on the following day. And I got in an absolutely terrible state. Like I was, but I say terrible, it's great. I was absolutely done, dusted, dead. I'm pretty sure I'm still slightly intoxicated right now. But we did meet some chicks towards the end of the night when I was like sobering up a little bit. For some reason, I'm gonna go on a date with one of them right now. Yeah, I don't know if it's making it into a YouTube video or not. If it does make it into a YouTube video or not, yo, what is up, queen? Because you're gonna watch this video and you'll be like, Mo, you put me in a YouTube video. I was like, yeah, I fucking did, damn right. <sighs> Let's go, let's get it. I got a bad feeling when I get drunk. We're currently in Miss Bella Fernandez's kitchen. She literally has no food. Like, she literally, Lives off fucking deliveries. What's this? Mm. We're gonna get an Uber, but instead I thought it'd be much better and cooler to pick her up in this electric scooter that you hire. <laughs> Yo, are you on the train yet? All right, yeah, I'm not fucking waiting for you. Oi, people that have foot fetishes are gonna love the fact that your toes are out, by the way. <laughs> he actually has a foot fetish. I don't. You do. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you Are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. As you can probably tell, I've been going out a lot and I've also been playing a lot of DJ sets. If you want to catch me, I play under the alias A site. Here are my upcoming shows in the UK over the next few weeks. And this is like kind of my alter ego, the secret thing that I do and love. Playing all these sets, having all these late nights, being in like sweaty, greasy environments is not the best thing for your skin. And if you want to meet people, if you want to be confident, if you're going on dates, etc., etc., you want to do everything that you can to ensure that your skin stays good regardless of the things in your environment that you are doing. So that brings me on to the sponsor of this week's video, Teach Hanley. Teach Hanley offer uncomfortable complicated skincare products for men. They basically have different levels of system. This is the level one system. Great place to start. Offers a facial wash, a twice a week exfoliating facial scrub, an AM moisturizer, and a PM moisturizer as well. But in the morning, what you do is you wash your face with the facial wash. Then you apply the AM moisturizer, which actually contains SPF lotion, keeps your skin looking fresh and beautiful. And then you go through your day, your skin is protected, it's looking beautiful. You get to the evening, and then you put on the PM moisturizer as well. Oh God, how much is on there? To make sure you don't use too much moisturizer like me, every product comes with one of these sheets that basically shows you how much to use when you apply the lotion, like when, how to do it, etc, etc. So you're not actually meant to put this much on, but then you also use the PM moisturizer as well before bed, and basically it keeps your skin looking beautiful. If you want to get involved and check out the products, there is a link in the description down below where you can get all of this for only $30, and a free gift with your order as well. Link down below, Tish Hanley, big shout out to those guys sponsoring the video. Get your skin looking beautiful for those days. Right, what is happening people? Today we're with Queen, who we met at Warehouse Project, and uh, I don't know when this video is gonna, how it's gonna start, but today we've somehow ended up on... <laughs> where are we? You don't want to say hotel room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Sounds enough. so dodgy, isn't it? Somehow, right, she didn't want to say hotel room, but it sounds dodgy. <laughs> Somehow we've ended up in like this really shit cheap motel room for one day together, halfway in between where we both live. I thought it'd be a fantastic idea to put a Q&A on my Instagram, and these are some of the questions for uh, myself and Queen that I'm going to tell the Hinge story. Yeah, go for it. Uh, what's, 
can tell everybody you lied to me. <laughs> no, it's not a lie. It's not a lie. Okay, so basically, basically we're, we're at this event, Warehouse Project, we're at this rave. Like, Girls, and, this is um, careful of him, okay? This is a pickup line that he usually... Alright, I'm actually insulted by this because if it's a pickup line, it's such a shit pickup line. <laughs> and then basically, myself and Dion were at this rave, we're dancing together, having a great time. I defibrillated... Defib defibrillate... How does it? Defibrillation. Defibrillation. Yeah. Thank you. I defibrillated Dion. <laughs> so her friend came up to us and was like, are you two doctors? And I was like, no. And then I looked at you and I was like, you're a doctor, aren't you? And she was like, yeah, how the fuck did you know? It's so really either, either I'm like some crazy, like weird stalker that just knows everything about her life, or we matched on Hinge like two weeks ago when I was in this place where she lives, which is like six hours from my house. She never actually matched with me. I just saw her profile because she rejected me. And, <laughs> um, and, and then I recognized her from that. From well, let me tell you the story, okay? So I haven't opened Hinge for a long ass time. Yeah. And I did not realize that my friend went into Hinge and set my account to um, basically I'm a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Mo sets, you know, his preference to both girls and guys. Bullshit. Bullshit. Uh, no, no, or no. he made it up. So I feel like it's either two of these. I didn't make it so up. Perhaps there's no way. Like, I refuse to me. believe I made this up. I do not. How would I have guessed that you're a doctor? Maybe I look like a doctor. Do I look like a doctor, everyone? No, you look like 12. <laughs> anyway, right, we basically <laughs> matched on Hinge and through pure chance and coincidence, we bumped into each other at an event. That's how it went down. Like a uh, love story destined for Twilight. Or maybe I'm just a fucking crazy stalker that's gonna chop her head off after this video ends. Who knows? So first one is from someone else that I know as well. From uh, Nabil, who's like uh, a very well-known videographer. He says, did you ask for that Samsung spin <laughs> cycle sloppy toffee? What is that supposed to mean? I don't know, interpret it as you wish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes or no answer? Yes. <laughs> yes. Alright, yeah, how can you not fall in love with Mo? You have a nice savage answer, I'm sure. The short. first thing he said to me, I'm a narcissist. Yeah, but at least I'm honest. Alright, so these questions are all like really deep, like we're getting married. I made it very clear that we've met each other once. What makes Mo stand out? Nothing really. My verified blue tick is what makes me stand out. Yeah, That's why she wants bad. to give me that sloppy top with 3900. <laughs> Here's a good one. Does Mo have game? No, he basically got up, went up to me and he's like, oh, I matched you on Hinge and I was like, no, you didn't. I don't remember you. I actually don't remember him. You're literally saying this like, like I hit on you. I didn't hit on you. Well, I'm honest, what Do you think I was in any state to hit on anybody? I don't know. I literally. It really sounds like a pickup line though. I've got game. <laughs> I disagree with that. Do you actually? I've got enough game to manipulate you into coming three hours no, to the middle, I'm here of, for middle fame. of country. I'm here to like get more followers. Yeah, but you didn't know where you, did, you didn't know we were recording a YouTube video when you came down. Oh. Would you rather have a head the size of a nipple or a nipple the size of a head? I'll go for the latter one, I think. You'd rather have a nipple the size so of a head. head. Why? Yeah, because. But then it means you, my boobs are going to be big, right? Yeah. If you had a nipple that's the size of a head, you've got some fucking problems. Okay, so I can't kind of body shame girls like that. <laughs> What if their nipples are the size of a of this big? Yeah. Would you stay friends after you've finished filming? No, this is what? this is it. Yeah. This is it. To be, like, yeah. This is crossing the to be line. fair, I've got everything I want from you anyway. It's fine. Yeah, never I got to my see, never to see you ever again. I'm not gonna tag you in this video. Also, he paid me like a couple of pounds. <laughs> couple of type bats. Type bats. <laughs> I'm tired. Maybe what? I thought you were African American. <laughs> How do Mo's massive calves feel? Go on. Flex? I said flex. I am flexing. Oh, fist, <laughs> fish shit. Fish. Now, have, have you fished I, Mo's ass? Like that. You get, you get a goldfish. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I'm just making it start first, isn't it? Can you try? What, putting a fish inside me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I always do to hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Should we take yeah. another video from I watched a video once called Eel Girl on that fucked up site. Oh. And this girl put like 20 eels inside her. Uh, it's Japanese. Yes. Yes, I've seen it. <laughs> or I've heard about it. <laughs> it was you in the video. <laughs> well, how do you know this? From everything that you have seen, what is your impression of Mo? And do you think he will die alone? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely yes, he will die alone. Do you actually to die alone? <laughs> Look at him. Fuck, <laughs> yeah. part of me actually, is, that's one of my biggest fears. Like deep down. Die alone? Yeah, part of me thinks like, I'm I just- think great though. What, dying alone? Yeah. Why is that great? Because you don't want to bring other people to die with you. No, I don't mean like, 
if we were together, like, burying me in my fucking grave. I mean, like, when you're older and you just have no one that loves you. I mean, that's pretty much what you are anyway. Yeah, fucking great. Thanks. This Cheers, guys. This Thanks. Is Fantastic. Single. Rate Mo's hairline. Bit of fucking I mean, well. it's kind of like receding right now. Mm, out of 10, I would say... Mm, 6.3. I think that's pretty good. Not really. Yeah, I mean, like, I uh, that's decent. I'll tell you that. You're like a 6 out of 10 and I'll still smash you. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, why are people so odd? Like, I said, I said in my story, like, there's so many questions, like, we're literally a married couple. I said in my story, we've met once. <laughs> So many questions like, do you date her? Are you in love? Do you do this? How many children you'll have? It's like, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh this is a good one. Oh, like, buckle let's up. Let's see, let's see. No, yeah, I gotta read it out to you. <laughs> Weird, like, weirdest pickup line you've ever been told. Hey, have you matched on Hinge? Uh, yeah, it's really fucking funny, isn't it? Question. <laughs> do you girls prefer introverted or extroverted or is it situational? It's situational. I feel like there's no strict, like, black or white preferences so it depends on how you feel like maybe back in the days i would prefer extrovert guys but now i feel like when you meet people mm. like mo who's a <laughs> fucking extrovert you're kind of like oh this is too much like but i that can't bicep separation this is what he always do talk about himself this is the mo show it's the mo samuels youtube channel not the queen whatever but your second name is you're staring me today so you're what you're basically like, i'm the star of the show you're the star of the show yeah yeah true that so which nipple of mo's would be your favorite to suckle on if I have to imagine myself to touch this disgusting nipples. Oh, but why is your hair on my nipple? That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> As a doctor, do you think I have gyno? Do you know what gyno is? Oh, like gyno semester. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like when. Do you think I do? Because some people say that I do. This is a professional medical. Oh, actually, you know what? He takes steroids, <laughs> so like he can join. What is an instant turn on and off when meeting guys for the first time? I think. Obviously, when a guy's confident, but also not cocky. I don't know, for me, I don't like cocky guys. Mm. I think it's a really turn off. Yeah, yeah. And also, guys that are like, kind of like, just doesn't get social cues. Doesn't you know, fuck off. No, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Because you just put me in a really weird position. This is non consensual. Non consensual. Non -consensual. <laughs> what do you say, guys that don't understand the social cues? <laughs> this is what I mean. This is what I mean. <laughs> Dating red flags. Dating red oh, flags. Do you want to go for that? You want yeah, to go I'm gonna for say that? if she makes TikTok videos, she's fucking bad news, lads. Run. <laughs> I'd also say if she has good vibes only in her profile, oh my she God. brings nothing but bad vibes. <laughs> I can promise you that. Or if she has like an abund abundance of emojis in her Instagram bio, that's also like <laughs> oh, also, also fucking dangerous territory. For a talk, I think red flags is when a guy is like social show manipulation, so asking where you are. I've seen a couple of girls, my other girlfriends, have boyfriends who are always like kind of asking where they are, and I think, I think it's nice to know yeah, fuck where those your boyfriends. Is, yeah, fuck I him. think you can kind of need to have trust in each other, and I think it's very important. To have yeah, trust I do each agree other. with that. Um, well, most attractive features. I like when you know it's about good stuff. What well, makes you think I'm attracted yeah. to you? <laughs> I'd say you're like your childlike hands. <laughs> Black, red flags. <laughs> and I like it that you call me Uncle Mo as well. <laughs> yes, puppy. I'd say you have good energy, in all seriousness. You're pretty smiley, um, you're pretty fun. And you also have a fucking awful, absolutely fucked up dark sense of humour like myself. <laughs> Would you let Mo fist you with no lube? Oh. In like a friendly way, like friends do. I will see, yeah. 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 Oh, sick. Fine. On that note, thanks for watching this absolutely fantastic QA. Thank you for the questions. It's been emotional. It's been a roller coaster. And uh, yeah, catch you later. Peace. Bye.